pigs are infected by the same influenza viruses which infect humans H1N1 and H3N2. Swine influenza is mild disease in pigs, however it is the main cause for respiratory disease because uh, combined with other common pathogens uh, on the farm it can le lead to really severe respiratory disease, pneumonia and complications. So. Um, there are serious animal welfare issues and in addition so, so there are severe economic losses for the farmers because there is um, loss in uh, gain of weight, uh, reproduction, uh, reproduction losses. Um, another problem with swine influenza viruses is that they also can jump from pigs to humans, although it's actually much more often humans to infect uh, uh, the pigs. And, when swine influenza virus adapts to transmitting the humans, it can cause pandemic and version of that occurred in 2009 H1N1 um, a pandemic. Swine influenza spreads like human influenza by contact, by droplets, uh, sneezing in the air. It can be um, uh, transmitted by humans or wild animals or birds. Um, at present, um, a good biosecurity measures by not allowing infected animals on the farm or using good disinfection and monitoring all that could help. The best prevention is of course vaccination and there are two um, ways of cross protection. One is to induce antibodies which recognize uh, the conserved parts of this um, proteins, the glycoproteins, which are on the surface of the virus, and these antibodies are, they prevent the virus to enter the cells. And the second type uh, of immune response is the T cells, which recognize the conserved parts of the internal uh, parts of the gene, and uh, this uh, T cell immunity not always prevents uh, the entrance of the virus into the cells, but it makes disease much less severe and also prevents transmission. As both pigs and humans are infected by the same subtypes of viruses, uh, uh, the pigs are an excellent model to study not only swine influenza, but also influenza uh, infection in humans. And the pigs have are physiologically, anatomically, immunologically very similar to humans. They have exactly the same structure of the lung, they have the same receptors which uh, bind the influenza viruses. So uh, research done in large animals like pigs is extremely informative. Uh, you immunize uh, the animals with the new vaccine, you wait, after that you infect the animals uh, with influenza and you measure the virus in their nose, in their lungs, and also uh, at post-mortem you look at the pathology in the lung. If you want to see whether a vaccine is protective, you have to test it in animals. And the swine model is a fantastic model because uh, swine influenza, the, the, the pig is a natural health pathogen model because swine influenza uh, uh, is a real disease, but also because of the similarity between swine and humans, it is an excellent model to test therapeutic agents and vaccines for humans. A uh, universal vaccine that can protect against any strain of virus is highly desirable uh, and that is the ultimate goal. And we have um, recently tested uh, a candidate universal uh, vaccine. Uh, this vaccine is called ASFU and it is developed by Alan Townsend uh, from the University of Oxford. And that is a weakened um, version of the influenza virus. The uh, vaccine uh, does not uh, have the surface um, glycoprotein hemagglutinin, which is important for the entrance of the virus in the cell. So once uh, ASFU is in the cell, it can replicate, but it cannot spread. However, it can uh, produce all of the other proteins of the virus and a very strong T cell immune response is made against conserved parts of these internal proteins, which uh, reduces the replication of the virus and can protect against more severe disease and uh, also prevents transmission. And uh, we have shown that uh, when we gave this uh, vaccine to pigs, there was a much reduced virus in the nose and in the lungs in the pigs. 
and also we have shown that for this protection it's very important to induce immune response in the lungs which is the site of entry of the pathogen and also we have shown that the best way to induce that is by giving the vaccine by aerosol.